start with contracting sprites. Chapter 271, Flowing Clouds and Rain, Brilliant Heavenly Might Teacher Old Mr. Chien pressed down the student who wanted to speak and looked at the woman who appeared to be the leader of the poker bandits. Su Hao was also looking, but not at the woman's charming face and alluring figure. What he was observing were the extraordinary level fairy snail and the mighty golden armored overlord halfway up the mountain. Unfortunately, the mid-mountain is too far away from me. I can't see the specific data outside the range of the interface map. However, with the dazed crow's vision and his vast knowledge and rich experience, Su Hao could roughly determine the strength of the golden armor overlord. In conclusion, that enemy looked like someone he could take on. Well, it's also a question as to who should fight. Butterfly probably doesn't care much, so I'll send out Dazed Crow and Dumb Unicorn first. Su Hao wasn't underestimating his enemy. It was precisely because he was cautious that he held back a few moves, in case the poker bandits was hiding other powerful sprites. After thinking of the plan and checking that there were no mistakes, he stepped forward. Old Mr. Qian, you don't have to do this. Since I've accepted the mission to protect the research team, I have to repel all threats. He added, besides, since the poker bandits are wanted criminals, how can we trust their words? I'll stop them. Old Qian, you should leave from the other direction. The crowd was reassured by the fact that his voice sounded so fearless and fearless despite being in the face of death. His back view also looked so tall and imposing. Instantly, everyone started crying. It also attracted the attention of the poker bandits in an instant as they looked at him with jealousy. Especially since the dumb unicorn had already come on a cloud and landed in front under his command. It naturally attracted the charming woman's attention. Extraordinary level? A Kirin. It looks like it could fetch a high price. The charming woman's interest was immediately piqued. Her attention shifted to the dumb unicorn. Go, take it down. She then looked at the other three underlings. You guys, go and get me that old man. The mouth of the fairy snail spewed out endless water, turning into blue blades that flew out. Wherever the sharp blades passed, a misty white mist was brought up. It was bone chilling coldness, making water droplets condense in the air. The energy contained in just one hit was already much stronger than the defeated elite level sprites just now. Dumb Unicorn also erupted. In an instant, the blue smoke clouds surrounding it turned into threads and clashed with the dozens of blades flying over. Mere threads. The woman with the code name Red Spade Q shook her head slightly, but the next moment. Crack. The tiny threads cut through the water blades cast by the fairy snail and didn't lose any momentum. They swept towards the elite level sprites who wanted to chase after the escaping crowd, sweeping out a deep line on the ground. With the dumb unicorn and Su Hao holding down the fort, those that dare to cross the line shall be killed. The few underlings of the poker bandits were really scared. After all, they were just underlings. Especially when the unfamiliar sprite opposite them seemed a little too strong. Red Spade Q also made a sound of surprise. Her charming face started to become serious. They won't be able to escape far anyway. In that case. Multiple water blades. In front of the fairy snail, another water blade appeared. It didn't shoot out, but stuck together one by one, forming a cone-shaped weapon. Wisps of dark blue light dissipated around the weapon. It was a secret technique. Seeing the killer move with extraordinary power, Su Hao judged that even with the extreme water characteristic, the dumb unicorn would have a hard time handling it. He immediately ordered, Great Glazed Water Arrow. A the countless mist that was already drifting in front of dumb unicorn instantly gathered, turning into, a huge arrow 2 to 3 meters long, or rather, a crossbow bolt. The bolt buzzed, and even the air seemed to be trembling. It collided with the cone-shaped weapon that was flying over and directly pierced through with a whoosh. Countless blue fragments flew out, and the glazed arrow that looked like it was made of crystal continued to fly forward, piercing through the fairy snail's front defense. 
Only then did the twelve water shields begin to lose their power as it dissipated in the air. How is this possible? The charming lady wasn't the only one who was curious. Old Mr. Qian and the other elite sprite trainers who had looked back out of worry almost dropped their jaws when they saw what had happened. As everyone knew, unique skills had specifications. Especially for water arrows, where bigger did not mean better. Compact but densely packed arrows often proved to be superior. The high-level usage of water arrows was to fire thousands of them at the same time. However, in their eyes, the power of the huge water arrow, was really just like its size, enlarged countless times, allowing it to overpower a sprite that had just broken through to extraordinary level in a head-on collision. That's the power of the enhancement of the bloodline. The stability of the unique skill can be increased by a few levels. Su so Hao observed, analyzed, compared, and collected data. At this moment, the dumb unicorn and the fairy snail were engaged in a evenly matched battle. The unique skill of the dumb unicorn was powerful, but the fairy snail wasn't bad either, especially since it had a lot of water its backpack-sized shell contained an unknown amount of water. Compared to the dumb unicorn which still needed to gather water vapor, the fairy snail naturally had an advantage. The speed at which it used its unique skill was much faster. The overall battle between the two parties could be summarized as First round, Water Blade, Water Blade, Water Blade, X-1-3, Great Glazed Water Arrow. The second round, Water Dragon Roll, Water Pattern Shock, Bubbles Defense Times 10, Water Dragon's Roar. The third round, Heavy Water Bomb X-10, Splashing Water Turned Into Sharp Arrows, Mist Turning Into a Cloud which then turns into a shield. Boom. Rumble. The two sprites continued to exchange blows. The water element unique skill used wasn't earth-shattering, but could still blast holes out of the ground nonetheless. Cracks were slashed out, soil and rocks were blasted away, water mist scattered. Once again, the charming woman raised her opinion of the unknown sprite. It was rare to meet sprites who were evenly matched, let alone a water element sprite. Su Hao also shared her thoughts. How lucky it was for the dumb unicorn to face an experienced fairy snail right after breaking through. The opportunity for it to gain experience had arrived just in time. Dumb unicorn's usage and control of the unique skill were improving visibly. However, the charming woman didn't want her sprite to continue being an experience bag for dumb unicorn. She ordered, heavy water blade. In an instant, the blades that appeared in front of the fairy snail were no longer the regular shade of blue, but dark blue. The power of the cone-shaped weapon formed by the combination increased exponentially, directly breaking past the two water dragons lingering around Dumb Unicorn. Heavy Water It wasn't like Dumb Unicorn's extreme water, which was a passive characteristic that allowed every move it made to be filled with extreme water. The heavy water of the fairy snail was a secret technique. When the two skills were used together, it became a high-level secret technique. In the blink of an eye, the situation was reversed. Dumb unicorn retreated step by step. When the heavy water blade slashed across, even a few scales dropped. If this continues, it'll be a one-sided beating. In the wild, I can't just focus on letting the sprite gain experience till the very end. At the very least, I can't let dumb unicorn get injured again. Use that move. Su Han commanded. The dumb unicorn that had been forced to the side of the lake suddenly stepped with its hooves. It surged forward as it rose with the water that it had pulled out from behind. It's useless. Even the water dragon's roar and the great glazed water arrow weren't enough to stop it, let alone the mere water wave that could be easily broken by the heavy water blade. But what the charming woman didn't notice was that countless water droplets that were flying into the sky against gravity gradually gathered together as it began to form a cloud. The dark cloud started to cover the sky as heavy rain poured down. These raindrops were free for either of them to control. Dumb unicorn could use it, but so could the fairy snail. However, before the fairy snail could make use of the venue advantage, a huge beast shadow had been condensed under the dark clouds and pouring rain. Dragon head, antlers, 
lion eyes, tiger back, bare waist, snake scales, horse hooves. It was like a water chylon that was enlarged countless times and formed by water streams. It descended from the sky, made a pounce motion, and stomped down on the fairy snail below. It wasn't fast, but it carried a brilliant heavenly might. It was as though time had stopped and water droplets hung in the air. Under the dark clouds, only the huge aqua blue body could be seen as it pressed down inch by inch. The fairy snail in the middle of all this was in a difficult position to escape. It kept spraying out water streams, covering itself with layers of protection. Bang! Cloud rain water Kylan stomped down, broke through layer after layer of shields effortlessly, and directly landing its hoof on the fairy snail. Instantly. The fairy snail hanging at a low altitude and carried by the water stream was pressed down forcefully. The huge hoof continued to press down, and countless cracks appeared on the ground around the hoof. Finally, it collapsed with a boom. Rain poured down. The huge water Kylan's figure turned into rainwater and dissipated. The dark clouds that had covered more than half of the sky also dissipated in an instant. Sunlight shone on the ground again. The surrounding pits were filled with water. In the huge pit in the middle, one could vaguely see the shell of the fairy snail. It had been buried in gravel. The charming woman was still in shock. Her mind was filled with the terrifying scene of the glorious heavenly might just now. She was astonished by the fact that a young sprite trainer whose body had not even developed fully and his extraordinary level sprite had actually triggered a large-scale meteorological phenomenon. Too strong. The other bandits had long been scared silly. They hid in the distance with their sprites, behind trees or rocks, only revealing their heads, their whole bodies trembling. Until. Boss. A curly-haired man in a black suit rode a flying sprite to the top of the mountain. When they saw the handsome man, be it a charming woman or the other underlings, they all regained their confidence. They hadn't lost yet. Chapter 272, Your Spear is Just a Spear, My Shield Isn't Just a Shield Just a while ago, an awe-inspiring flaming spirit crow had descended from the sky and joined the battle halfway up the mountain. With the flaming feather saber in one hand, it took on the golden armored overlord and its overlord saber in a very intense battle. Black Spade K left the golden armor overlord to continue fighting on its own while he rode the flying sprite to the top of the mountain. He also saw the huge aqua blue Kylan with the glorious heavenly might slowly dissipate. However, he wasn't afraid. He leaped off the flying sprite and landed beside the charming woman. He stretched out his hand and spread his fingers. Come out, steel god soldier. In an instant, a silver-gray figure appeared. It was, a figure with full body armor that was more than two meters tall, with a helmet and a visor covering its face. Its hands and feet were all armor parts. Sprite, steel god soldier. It was a rather rare metal element sprite. It had a very unique characteristic which was that its interior was hollow. And Steel God soldiers could disassemble their armor parts and then reattach on their sprite trainers to protect them. It was a sprite that could make people feel safe, good at defending and protecting lives. The other party's battle power seemed formidable, especially the Steel God soldier in front of Su Hao. Su Hao took a look at the interface and knew that it was much stronger than the fairy snail and the golden armored overlord. It was a real, experienced extraordinary level sprite. The two water dragons drawn by dumb unicorn were smashed into water foam by the steel god soldier in an instant. Unless dumb unicorn repeated the same move it had just used, otherwise. For the time being, it was difficult for dumb unicorn's ordinary battle method to pose a sufficient threat to the steel god soldier. It looks like your sprite must have exhausted a lot of its energy already. Black Spade K seemed to have seen through everything. Su so Hao didn't rebut. Indeed, he had only practiced the Cloud Rain Kylan Dumb Unicorn for a short period of time. Its power and durability were still imperfect, and it consumed a lot of energy. It could only be used two to three more times at most. And the main duty of the Dumb Unicorn was to help the others escape, 
so it needed to conserve more than half of its spiritual force behind. The Cloud Rain Kylan was not proficient at this stage and took too long to prepare. Before an experienced master level sprite trainer, the same big move could not be used a second time. At least for the time being. So, Su Hao waved his hand and made the dumb unicorn retreat. Amidst the surprise and bewilderment of the charming woman and the curly haired man, he called out to Big Fat Bear, who had been hiding behind a certain rock that withstood the rain and the wind. The chubby body came in front of him and let out a temporarily mighty roar. Howl! But it turned its head and whimpered as it seemed to be asking Su Hao for something. Su Hao was speechless. He reached out and pushed it. No, there's no room for discussion. Let's talk after the fight. Howl! Big Fat Bear agreed. On the opposite side, the curly-haired man's surprise and bewilderment became even heavier. He observed Big Fat Bear for a moment and said, You actually have a third extraordinary level sprite at such a young age. It was both a surprise and a way for him to probe. Seeing that Su Hao didn't answer, the curly-haired man's expression also became solemn. 2. Three extraordinary level ones. He looked at the two in front of him, then at the one below and finally ordered the Steel God Soldier, condense your weapon. Get rid of them. The Steel God Soldier, which was made entirely of armor, had its feet slightly off the ground. The two holes on its mask burst out with a terrifying light. Its palms, which were also made of steel, suddenly pressed together and opened to the sides. Silver light interweaved into a long spear in its palms, extending continuously until it was completely materialized in its hands. Solidified armament, steel spear. A method that only experienced extraordinary level experts could master. But just as this spear was condensed, the curly-haired man saw the thunder bear roar and spread its arms, and with a series of ka 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 sounds, a full-body battle armor appeared, making its originally fat and big body even more impressive. Battle Armor Fusion it was already a thunder battle bear. Your, your sprite can actually solidify its armor. He couldn't care less about the noobs in the arrest team. It didn't matter to him if they caught up to him. But in front of him, this young man who might only be in his early twenties had made him feel threatened, which was something he hadn't felt in a long time. The curly-haired man's bewilderment level increased by one. He analyzed it. It wasn't easy for Steel God Soldier to fight against two alone either. The plan had to change. Give up on that old man and just bring the machine away. The charming woman, Red Spade Q, responded. She summoned two weak water element sprites and used a certain sprite commandeering method to hang a trace of the fairy snail's blood. All this while, she remained on guard and gradually distanced herself running towards the place where the strange machine was placed a few hundred meters away. Then, she was stopped by a certain blue figure. At the same time, the steel god soldier holding the silver spear was just about to charge towards the dumb unicorn when it was blocked by a round but especially agile figure. Bang! The silver spear stabbed into the blue bracer. In an instant, the tip of the spear burst out with sharp golden light while sizzling arcs of lightning also emerged from the bracer. With the two sprites as the center, the golden and lightning arcs spread to the left and right sides, and suddenly, a bottomless crack more than 20 meters long appeared on the ground. However, the steel god soldier didn't have any intention of letting this go on. It could fly so it soared high into the sky and pounced towards the water kylan, wanting to create an opportunity for the rest of the poker bandits. The curly-haired man also rode his sprite into the sky and pulled away. He pondered. At this point, we can't continue on like this. I'll let the steel god soldier buy some time and retreat immediately after getting the machine. With that machine, we'll have something to deliver. The curly-haired man saw that the steel god soldier was flying while the thunder battle bear ran on all fours. As expected, it can't catch up to my steel. Sizzle. A lightning chain emerged from the Thunder Bear's palm and wrapped around the Steel God Soldier with lightning speed. It circled a few times and tied it tightly. No matter how hard the Steel God Soldier struggled, 
it couldn't break free from the invisible but substantial lightning chains. The curly-haired man could only watch helplessly as his steel god soldier was locked and forcefully pulled back. What greeted the steel god soldier was a thunderbolt palm. Bang! The thunder palm and the chain produced a resonance. Amidst the intense explosion, the steel god soldier flew backwards, dragging a long ditch in the ground. With just one hit, the curly-haired man's expression changed. In his contract connection, the steel god soldier that had pretty strong defense had already suffered minor injuries under the thunder light palm. I have to focus on dealing with that thunder bear. The curly-haired man figured out a solution. When the lightning chain tries to wrap around it again, he intends to use a unique skill to defeat it first. Booming sounds rang out continuously as explosive smoke clouds blossomed in the air. The silver-gray figure kept dancing in the air, sometimes piercing out golden light, and sometimes flashing behind big fat bear. Its powerful and heavy spear could make Big Fat Bear stumble. In terms of battle experience, the Big Fat Bear was even inferior to the dumb unicorn. Especially when they were evenly matched. At this point, Big Fat Bear was crying out in pain from being stabbed. It wasn't injured much, but the thunder arcs reflected by the Thunder God battle armor couldn't hurt the Steel God soldier holding the solidified weapon. After being stabbed more than ten times, a certain weak spot had already been stabbed twice, and was about to be penetrated. It was slowly becoming more anxious. Under the threat of pain, the big fat bear finally used the intellect it had when playing games. Uh, although it didn't seem to have much intellect even when playing games. But it finally changed its battle strategy. It was no longer passively taking hits nor did it consume a large amount of spiritual force to send out AoE that could hit but dealt insufficient damage. Instead, its whole body curled up, and waves of lightning emerged from its battle armor, directly wrapping it into a huge thunder ball. There was no need for it to run or roll. The ball of lightning started moving on its own. When the steel god soldier stabbed at it, it also collided forcefully. Bang! The two spirits collided, and the one with the heavier weight won. The thunder ball trembled, and the steel god soldier retreated a few steps with a bang. It stepped out footprints one after another, and countless cracks spread. The next moment, under the lingering lightning, the thunder ball moved again and rolled forward. Accompanied by rumbling thunder. The steel god soldier, which didn't dare to face it head on, dodged a few times. However, the more the thunder ball rolled, the faster it became. One could only see the bluish-purple thunder shadow flash past. Fly up and drag it until the thunder ball can't hold on any more. The curly-haired man ordered. As long as the steel god soldier didn't try to attack, it wouldn't give the thunder ball a chance to hit. And a sprite like thunder roaring obviously wouldn't. Why is it flying? Dozens of wheel marks had already been carved out by the constant rolling by now. Suddenly, the Thunder Ball Chariot, with a speed of 200 miles per hour, rolled from the ground and into the sky amidst crackling thunder and flashes, hitting straight at the Steel God Soldier. Boom! A ball of terrifying lightning exploded in the air. At the last moment, the Steel God Soldier used its spear to block the impact. Its armor was covered in a layer of golden light, but it was still forcefully blasted away. The solidified spear fell from the sky and plunged into the ground, leaving only a hole. The steel god soldier also flew far away. By now, there were already many charred marks on the silver-gray armor. It looked extremely miserable. It was only at this point that the exploding lightning gradually dissipated. Its cumbersome body suddenly smashed down from the sky. With a boom, it smashed out the biggest pit since the battle a huge pit 30 to 40 meters in diameter and 7 to 9 meters in depth. The thunderous explosion made Su Hao couldn't help but cover his ears. The dust and smoke dissipated. Only Big Fat Bear, Dumb Unicorn, and a few sprites that couldn't get up from the ground remained. And the hastily fleeing figures of the poker bandits. Chapter 273, Black Spade K how many extraordinary sprites do you have? Whoosh whoosh. In the sky, 
an armored dragon hawk flapped its wings and flew with all its might. On its back, a curly-haired man was sprawled on all fours, his hands firmly grabbing onto the dragon hawk's neck. A protective screen protected him from the howling wind blowing against him. But the curly-haired man known as the Black Spade K still felt that the surrounding wind, it was so strong and full of danger. I wonder if Q and the others escaped. He didn't care about the other underling, but Red Spade Q. Q's graceful figure surfaced in the curly-haired man's mind, but he shook his head and stopped thinking about it. The key now was that he also had to shake off the pursuers on his tail. Before he could do that, he didn't have time to consider other things. But even now, the curly-haired man still couldn't understand. He had fought in place of his underlings, so why, did he lose? Ever since he looted the first research station, he had cautiously considered all the possible outcomes. It was no surprise that the arrest team would come chasing after them. Which was why he had concealed himself and only let Q do the work when they were looting the first research station. Among the research team that set off from White Cloud City towards the Sky Lake, there was likely to be a master-level sprite trainer. That also wasn't surprising. Usually, master-level sprite trainers only have one extraordinary-level sprite. And usually extraordinary-level sprites couldn't pose much of a threat either. His golden armored overlord and QS fairy snail were already pretty strong, even for an extraordinary-level sprite. An ordinary research team such as this one probably couldn't have afforded to hire a truly strong sprite trainer anyway. However, after seeing a flaming spirit crow, an unknown sprite, and a thunder roaring. Black Spade K couldn't figure how an ordinary research team managed to hire someone who had three extraordinary level sprites. And what was worse was that none of them were weak at all. In fact, they were all very strong. Especially that thunder roaring. The fat figure flashing with thunder arcs was still in his mind. After flying for a while, the curly-haired man could no longer see his pursuers. His mind wandered off into the contract again, and he sensed that his steel god soldier had also escaped after being attacked for a while. The curly-haired man reached out and spread his fingers. In a flash, the steel god soldier appeared beside him. At this point, more than half of the steel god soldier's body was charred black, and some parts of its armor had already caved in that wasn't solidified armor, the armor was the original body, and many of the damage was already mid-level injuries. Black Spade K could sense that the Steel God Soldier was extremely weak right now and needed to be treated as soon as possible. At White clouds drifted in the sky as the man looked at the vast sea of trees beneath him. In the sea of trees, he could see people and sprites on the move. It was the fleeing research team. The corners of the curly-haired man's mouth curled up immediately. Even the heavens are helping me. At this moment, in the forest. Old Jian and the others had already slowed down and weren't running very fast. It doesn't seem like the members of the poker bandits are chasing after us, they were probably stopped by Mr. Su Hao. We can't be careless. Conceal your traces. Among the crowd, some wood element and earth element sprites who were in relatively better condition started to use spiritual force to clean the footprints behind them. They even went as far as to cover up the clean tracks with fallen leaves. As they cleaned, they continued to advance through the forest. There was also worry on his face. I wonder how Mr. Su Hao is doing. Damn it, we weren't able to help at all. We would have only been a burden if we stayed. Mr. Su Hao should have also escaped by now, right? He's probably able to escape, right? They could only pray as they couldn't do anything more to help. As long as he could get out safely, everything would be fine. At this moment, a few meters away from the team, a palm-sized sprite flapped its butterfly wings and flew slowly. It was undetected, invisible to both human and sprite. No one was able to notice anything even if it had passed their line of vision. Butterfly, who was carrying a pearl in its arms, maintained a constant speed. When she heard the discussion of others, she grunted. At this moment, it raised its head and looked at the sky. It saw a figure falling rapidly. 
After carefully observing and using spiritual perception, it noticed that the figure was the person Dum Su Hao had lost. Its bright eyes curved into crescents. Bang! Strong winds blew and leaves danced. Old Jian and the others were suddenly alert. They saw an armored dragon hawk descending from the sky and a steel god soldier appearing above them. Powerful extraordinary level pressure was released, and the faces of everyone instantly turned pale. With luck, the curly-haired man finally smiled. Ha ha ha. Uh. He suddenly looked at a certain spot in the team. The steel god soldier had warned him after instinctively sensing danger. Over there, where his eyes were focused, a palm-sized sprite with three pairs of butterfly wings on its back appeared in the air. It blinked at him. What kind of sprite is that? Just as this thought emerged in his mind, suddenly, his whole body fell forward it was the armored dragon hawk he was sitting on, it had fainted. What was that look just now? Was it an illusion? Why is there another terrifying extraordinary level sprite? The curly-haired man saw that when the sprite appeared, the team whose path he had blocked also had similar looks of surprise on their faces. It was a sprite that wasn't part of the team. Then, a fact that he didn't quite want believe but had to believe surfaced in his mind. The little sprite in front of him was, another one of that young man's sprite. How many extraordinary level sprites did he have? F asterisk CK. When the curly-haired man saw this, he didn't hesitate, and immediately chose to escape. The steel god soldier flew over rapidly, grabbed him and flew out. On both sides of his vision, the scenery passed him by quickly. He passed tree by tree by tree. The scene in the sea of trees remained the same, even though his steel god soldier was flying diagonally upwards. The trees swaying around were also oddly similar. Something is, wrong. He suddenly noticed that a protective screen had been around him for some time. Still grabbing onto his flying steel god soldier, he was already exhausted. What's worse was that he was also injured, making it even harder to fend off the invisible force harassing him. With a boom, the steel god soldier plunged down. At the edge of the sky lake. Su so Hao was stunned when he received the message from Butterfly. How can this guy be so stupid? Su so Hao didn't deliberately let that person escape, but he really didn't intend to chase after him either. He had only captured the woman and the other underlings. He had already given up on capturing him, but who would have thought? Butterfly, who was in charge of ensuring the safety of old Mr. Qian and the others, had actually, come across a valuable head. Well. Since these poker bandits are on the wanted list, their members should be able to fetch a good price, right? As expected, as long as I do things steadily, the enemy will come knocking on my door. Now. What should I do with these people? Steamed or brazed? Oh no. Su so Hao was conflicted whether he wanted to let the arrest team handle it, or capture it himself to receive the reward. He glanced down. Well, the arrest team was still there. At the same time, at the foot of the mountain. A sprite with fiery red fur that looked like a big dog, carrying two people on its back was stepping on the rock wall and constantly running up the mountain. It was a flaming divine hound. It was extremely fast, leaping across the rock wall like a ball of fire. The two people sitting on its back held onto its hair. Its long hair and XX dangled up and down continuously, but the two remained a stable posture. It seemed like they were used to riding on the flaming god hound. Hurry, faster. I didn't expect there'd be someone like the Black Spade K in the Poker Bandits. That guy had once defeated two master level opponents by himself. It's impossible for a mere arrest team to be Black Spade K's match. I hope we're in time. Before long, they arrived at the mountainside. The flaming divine hound let out a howl. The expression of the woman sitting in the front seat became much more solemn. There are strong spiritual force waves in front. A battle must have broken out. The scene halfway up the mountain gradually came into the vision of the two Union arrest officers. They saw broken mountain rocks, crisscrossed scratches, and sprites collapsed on the ground. 
she recognized the extraordinary level sprite, which belonged to the leader of the arrest team. It looked dispirited as it slumped on the ground. The situation was similar to what she had expected, but it probably wasn't too late for them to. Suddenly, they saw a golden armored overlord that looked even more miserable, its body covered in blade marks, completely unconscious. It was unknown to them whether it was dead or alive. That's... Black Spade K.S.A.'s card, Golden Armor Overlord. Hey! Halfway up the mountain, only sounds of confusion could be heard. One of them was short and the other was longer. Chapter 274, A New Storm Has Appeared At the top of the mountain, in front of the sky lake, everything was in ruins. Big Fat Bear slapped one sprite after another, slapping the poker bandits sprites who had yet to completely lose their battle power until they were half dead, near death, or on the brink of death. Su Hao's mind replayed the scene of the battle between Dumb Unicorn and Big Fat Bear just now. He was giving the two sprites, marks. After evolution, the battle power of the Dumb Unicorn increased sharply, but it has only developed a little now. Its advantage was that it had a wide range of water control and could easily raise thousands of waves. It was an expert in dealing with small fries. In terms of energy battle, the dumb unicorn was no weaker than a spirit. Its flaw is that its point explosion is still weak, but this isn't a big problem. The characteristic of extreme water had greatly enhanced the power of its unique skill, and could even cause internal injuries to the enemy. In the battle with the fairy snail, the advantage of extreme cold and internal injuries was not highlighted because the fairy snail was good at long-range attacks. When it defended, it also used water shields, bubble defense, and other energy levels. But if it was used against sprites like the giant armored crab or the lava dragon turtle, the extreme water characteristic would be even more useful. If dumb unicorn continues to train, that move can become a real killer move. Hmm but I still have to develop a more conventional killer move for it. Overall, Dumb Unicorn performance scored 60 points, out of 120 points. As for Big Fat Bear, it didn't know how to fly so it relied on Thunder Command Flight using its LV3 Thunder Control ability and the binding characteristics of the Thunder Net, it developed the ability to let the lightning carry its body. But it's still not quite mature yet. If the meat bouncing thunderball from just now could have kept flying, that steel god soldier wouldn't have been able to escape at all. Su so Hao came to a conclusion and turned to look at Big Fat Bear. Go back and train more, your gaming time will now be halved. Big Fat Bear. It turned its head to look, and accidentally used too much force with its bare paw. With a bang, it slapped a sprite that was already half dead into the ground. Smoke and dust rose from the top of the mountain, and the lake breeze was cold. A dumb crow's squawk suddenly came from the contract, then... Boom! A boom came from halfway up the mountain. A few moments later, a slightly bald flaming divine hound carried two women to the top of the mountain. The woman sitting in front was tall and had a charming appearance. Her dark red long hair fluttered in the wind, but her face seemed to reveal a bit of her shock. The woman kept stroking the big dog's hair with her palm, as if she was comforting it. The woman in the back seat looked gentler and more dignified. Her sitting posture on the big dog was also very virtuous. Both of them were wearing battle uniforms that were probably from the crime bureau. The style of their uniforms looked a little higher class than those of the team members and team leaders from the arrest team halfway up the mountain. Two words surfaced in Su Hao's mind arrest officers. It was a higher official position than the leader of the arrest team. Usually, they either operated solo or in a two-man group. As for battle power, they were definitely stronger than the leader of the arrest team. At the very least, they were a master-level official with some background. At this moment, the two arrest officers who arrived at the top of the mountain looked at the countless holes of various sizes, the charred black ground after the explosion, and the scattered gravel. They went from having slightly opened mouths to a moment of silence, and then to relief. The scene had shocked them for several seconds. But just a while earlier, when they had just appeared, 
they were treated as enemies by that flaming spirit crow. A flaming blade light suddenly slashed at them and brushed past the flaming god hound's body. Fortunately, after the leader of the arrest team shouted in time, the flaming spirit crow finally stopped its second slash. The female arrest officer who got off from the front seat looked at the only person standing on the mountain peak. She noticed he was a young man. She walked forward with the most solemn attitude and stretched out her hand. Hello, I'm the Union Arrest Officer number 1203 Sia. Time passed quickly, and the lake breeze was cold. After verifying the identities of the two arrest officers, Su Hao slowly explained the situation. After a few exclamations such as oh, sssss, ah, the arrest officers took out leather whips. Cough, took out ropes, headgear and gloves specially designed to restrict sprite trainers, and locked the five members of the poker bandits and their sprites. The woman standing on the left with long dark red hair, also the sprite trainer of the flaming god hound, was the union arrest officer, Xia. According to them, as arrest officers, they often fought with fierce criminals, so, they didn't use their real names, but used code names. Xia was the code name of the woman who looked fiercer. The code name of the other arrest officer was Lin. Her sprite wasn't summoned, and when Xia asked about the situation, Lin took out a small notebook and recorded it seriously. It was a little like asking for a statement. At this point, a small underling who hadn't been knocked too badly regained consciousness. When he saw Xia and Lin in the arrest officer uniform, he let out fierce words, Detestable Crime Bureau. Our boss. Bang. Xia kicked him. The underling, whose protective screen had long been destroyed, had his face kicked towards his feet. He was kicked so hard that his neck was twisted at a strange angle, and one could vaguely hear the sound of bones dislocating. It made people wonder if she had kicked that underling to death. Don't worry. Xia snorted and said, I'm very experienced. I've already controlled the angle of strength. Sometimes my precision can be so good that it can even resuscitate Lin's sprites. Isn't that right, Lin? The arrest officer named Lin didn't want to speak and covered her face with her hand. After Xia counted the number of people, she said some words of thanks, as well as things like how to receive the reward. The underlings of the poker bandits aren't that valuable. They were each worth a bounty of 500,000 yuan. Red Spade Q has committed many crimes. Currently, her bounty hanging in the crime bureau is 35 million yuan, but the most valuable one is still Black Spade K. That guy was behind many of our big cases, and he's very cunning. The arrest officer Xia snorted, as if Black Spade K had escaped from her hands many times. Su Hao asked, how much is Black Spade K's bounty? The reward is 75 million yuan, said the arrest officer Xia. If you can provide effective clues, there will also be a reward from 100 up to 10 million yuan. Eh, right. Black Spade K just escaped not long ago, why don't we use all the sprites to search, maybe we can find. Didn't I mention that this K person has already been caught? Su Hap said. Xia's face was puzzled. Lin drew a question mark on her little notebook and turned it around. Ten minutes later, the dazed crow delivered the package. The deeply asleep Black Spade K was thrown onto the ground. His handsome face was immediately ruined as his face hit the ground. Su Hao nodded and praised Crow in the contract. Crow flew away happily squawk. Arrest officers Xia and Lin looked at their old acquaintance and fell into deep thought. Did their branch, have enough funding? After such a big event happened, old Jian's research team naturally didn't continue to stay. It was impossible to research anymore. On the same day, they set off for White Cloud City. After Su Hao sent them off and successfully completed the first mission of his career, he prepared to return to Dragon Nation. This trip was very perfect. Not only did the dumb unicorn successfully evolve, he had even earned a small sum of 100 million yuan. The 100 million bounty reward might have been worth 100 million, but it could be exchanged for various mid and high level resources. And thus, in a sense, 
it was worth 200 million yuan. He didn't expect it to be so easy to earn money. He suddenly had a thought. Why not debut as a bounty hunter? No, no. Today, it's just that the poker bandits delivered themselves to my doorstep. Otherwise, how can I earn 200 million yuan in a few days? Besides, fighting and killing is too dangerous. It's better to follow the original plan and write research papers and develop some profitable goods. It's safer and simpler to be a black-hearted boss. After he was examined, he took a step out with a few sprites. The next moment, when he looked up again, he was already surrounded by cold metal walls, a completely sealed ceiling, and vaguely visible cannon muzzles pointing towards the exit. It also signified that he had already returned to Dragon Nation. On the throne above his head, the first thing Butterfly did was, take out its cell phone and activate its mobile data. The envious big fat bear made a few sob sounds. At the same time. Buzz. Buzz 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 buzz. Ding dong. Ding dong. Ding dong. The sprite commandeering wristband kept vibrating, and many missed calls appeared on his cell phone. There was Mentor Ma, Senior Wu, Senior Zhang. It was a little rushed. Stunned, he looked around. The soldiers stationed at the base were still chatting and laughing, without any tension. His heart was much more at ease. With a light tap of his finger, he opened the unread email. Chapter 275, How Can You Stagnate? So that's it. In Xiang'an City, where the entrance to White Cloud City was located, Su Hao found a shady spot to sit down. After reading the email, he replied to Senior Wu, Mentor Ma, Senior Zhang, and the others one by one. It wasn't a big deal, but it wasn't a small matter either. It can probably be considered a, good thing. It was a good thing for Dragon Nation and the Union. Things had to start a few days ago. A few days ago, in a small nation called Stone Elephant Nation overseas, a new entrance suddenly appeared. Space oscillations, intersections, and then the appearance and expansion of entrances weren't surprising. Since the first entrance appeared 62 years ago, new entrances have appeared all over the world every year. The opposite side of some entrances was very desolate. On the opposite side of some entrances, they were facing the threat of the alien tribe. On the opposite side of some entrances, there were precious materials all over the ground, a fertile land waiting to be developed. Dragon Nation and the Union were looking forward to third-party entrances. It wasn't unheard of for small countries to fight over a certain entrance. But the opposite side of the Stone Elephant Nation's entrance is even more special. There was a large-scale ruin there. There were very few traces of civilization in the New World, but the discovery of a ruin often brought great benefits to the Union. He had heard that many sprite commandeering techniques came from ruins. There were several special sects in Dragon Nation now, and it was said that they were also related to the gains from the ruins. Another example was Whale Island University's Real Illusion Crystal Tower and Dragon City University's Pure Pool. They were all ruins. Whole sites were relocated. According to the information in Senior Wu's email, the ruins opposite the Stone Elephant Nation are unprecedentedly big. It's an ancient city. In other words, the Stone Elephant Nation probably leaked the news. Since it's a small nation and couldn't keep such a big piece of meat to itself, it probably decided to make it public and invite sprite trainers from all over the world to explore. Not only that, it seems that there is a special barrier in that ruin. That's why master level sprite trainers are the main force of the exploration. Whale Island University could also be considered a force in Dragon Nation, and with the backing of the officials, they easily obtained a slot. In comparison, many of the Sprite Trainer families didn't know anything about that ruin even now. He actually didn't really want to go, but the ruins itself, the official rewards, the gain of intelligence points, and so on. There were simply too many benefits. The benefits exceeded the danger. Besides, he had enjoyed many resources and benefits from Dragon Nation after all. He had to do something in return. Many people wanted to go, but they couldn't. 
As a good young man of the Dragon Nation, it was his duty to contribute a little of his strength. Even several Heavenly King level sprite trainers from several countries have already gone there a step earlier. Only if the safety evaluation passes, will the second tier sprite trainers be allowed to enter. The Union had developed a complete exploration process long ago. There had never been large casualties when exploring unfamiliar areas. Treasures were valuable, but human lives were still more valuable. The next day, he took a special plane and flew to Stone Elephant Nation with more than 10 Dragon Nation sprite trainers. The Stone Elephant Nation was located in Asia. On the surface, there was only one Heavenly King level sprite trainer holding down the fort in the whole nation. But the whole Stone Elephant Nation's territory was even smaller, less than half of the Tianese province. However, in terms of territory and sprite trainers' standards, it wasn't very weak. Many small countries didn't even have Heavenly King level sprite trainers. These were all information Su Hao learned from sprite trainers on the same flight. The cabin was relatively quiet. Many sprites maintained the safest motionless.jpg and obedient.jpg sitting positions on the plane. Big Fat Bear, Dazed Crow, and the others weren't very eye-catching in the cabin. In the spacious cabin, there was no lack of nine-level tower dragons, Red Flame Kyang Chi, Giant Leviathan with bones all over its body, and other sprites with mighty looks, emitting traces of powerful aura. As expected, as Su Hao's status rose, the people he interacted with were also stronger, and the sprites he saw, became much more personalized. Among the many sprites, Thunder Roaring and Flaming Spirit Crow could only be considered average in strength. On the other hand, Dumb Unicorn's current form, which no one else had seen before, attracted some attention. But they had come for the ruins and they also weren't very familiar with one another, and no one bothered to ask. As for Butterfly, Su Hao glanced at the top of his head. Its illusion and illusion changes were becoming more and more exquisite. It no longer attracted the attention of anyone or any sprite. What was worth mentioning was that the Bright Knight spirit had also returned to the team. Originally, Su Hao planned to check its homework after returning to school, but Su Hao thought about how long this exploration would last, so he summoned the Bright Knight spirit to his side. At this point, the Bright Knight Spirit's strength was roughly at the mid-level elite level so it could only sit by and admire the other sprites in the coming exploration. But Su Hao wanted to make it at least feel a little involved. It would help in the future cultivation. I've really thought it through thoroughly. Fu Fu. The Bright Knight Spirit with long silver white hair fluttering in the wind looked over. Su Hao waved his hand. Fu Fu, it quietly curled up in the corner. The glowing night spirit was always obedient and never made anyone worry.